Art Yard Art Matters at PS282 has begun our next cycle titled Unity Community with teaching artist Richard Estrin. Richard explained to us that while in each session over the next three weeks we will create an artwork, these three pieces will ultimately be placed side by side to form what we call a triptych. Today we learned some very sophisticated watercolor techniques, including working wet on wet, which allows colors to blend on their own. Richard showed us some fine examples of watercolor painting, including my favorite, John Singer Sargent, which we carefully analyzed for technique. Does this sound like a rigorous painting course in art school? I thought so too, but we were wowed by the fantastic accomplishment of our four to 10 year old artists. Richard reflects, the exuberant of these young kids is so gratifying. The love of creating that they demonstrated is sensational and inspirational. Jack and his sister Avery really enjoyed this, this week's lesson and think overlapping is a cool technique. Lorenzo described his composition, one building overlapping another building, half overlapping another building, a little bit. Lucy loved blending colors by adding watercolor to wet paper. She said, I liked how the kids made all their paintings so beautiful because of all the details. Noelle exclaimed, I just love painting with watercolors. This is a blue dog eating an ice cream with chocolate sprinkles at the park. In critique, Reese clearly articulated, I overlapped these flowers and a house behind it. The doorknob is only half because it's behind the flowers. Emma's colorful painting depicts her community of stuffed toys, Elmo, Cookie Monster, and her fluffy unicorn, Esmeralda. She tells us, I decided to overlap them because they normally sit together in a bunch. August painted a rainbow with a bird community, with a cloud raining over the ocean. Employing artistic license, Lola made a painting of her school and the grass on the track, which is actually blue, but she decided to make it purple. Coco's piece depicts a big unicorn hiding behind a snake with a bear on the side. These beautiful paintings are all depicting a particular community dear to the artist. Home, park, toys, pets, and even a community of paintbrushes painted by Max, which particularly resonated with me as I've painted a version of that community myself. See you next session.